Hey makers, this is Tarveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can populate your word template with image control in Power Automate. So, here I have the example. This is my vendor onboarding template where I have this type of contract set up. In this table, every information we are setting up dynamically. So, vendor ID, vendor name, contact person, address, business type and vendor logo. This all is coming from my SharePoint list where all these datas are configured over here. And that image is coming from as a part of attachment from the list. So, let's get started and talk about how you can populate your word template with Power Automate. To get started populating the word template, first of all, we need to set up the tags in the word template. And to do that, we need to enable the developer mode first in the Microsoft Word. Make sure you open this Word template in the desktop version. To enable the developer mode, go to the file menu, go to options, go to customize ribbon and, and make sure the developer mode has been added and selected over here. If not, maybe from here search for the developer mode. Transform it over here and make sure it is enabled. At the end, click on OK button. Once the developer mode is enabled, in your Word document on the top, you will be able to see the developer section like this. Now, we need to start adding the different tags over here. And to do that, let's say vendor ID. For that, go to the developer mode. From here, you can see the different control option available for document template. Over here, Select this type of text input over here and in that text input, it will populate the information. Different kind of controls are available. So, we will use the text control over here. So, first of all, let me add this text control. And as soon as you add that, you can see it has added this kind of text over here. Now, we need to configure its property. So, by selecting that, there is a property option available over here. Click on that. Over here, you need to provide the title and tag information over here. So, in the title, I am providing vendor ID and tag as well, I will provide vendor ID. So, let's apply that. So, I provided title and tag like this. Click on OK. And you can see that also it is showing the same tag and title over here when you hover over it. OK. So, this is how you need to configure the property. Similar way. We need to configure vendor name, contact person, address and business type as well. So, let me do for vendor name and then you can do rest of the things by your own. So, I am just going here, placing the cursor, going here and adding the text control for myself. As soon as you add that, it will show you like this. Now, you need to click on the properties option. And now, let's search for vendor name. Copy and paste the same name in the tag as well. And click OK. And we are done for vendor name as well. Same way, let me do the other things. And you can do it by your own. Similar way, I set up the properties for contact person, address and business type. Now, I need to do something for the logo as well, which is coming through the attachment control. To add the image in the world of Power Automate, you need to use image control from here. So, you can see here the different available property. From there, there is one property called image. So, let's apply image from here. So, I'm just clicking on image and that is something which is looking like this. Let me just expand the image like this and then click on the properties from here and let me just provide like, okay, logo. Perfect. And click on okay. We are done with this. Let's save this document template. I'm saving this template right now. And now close the template. Now let me create one document library along with folder to upload this template for myself. So I'm just going to site content and I already created one document library for myself called vendor onboarding contracts. Let's open that up. Here I have created one more folder called templates. And I will create one more folder for generate document. So at the end, whatever documents will be generated, it will be stored underneath this. 
So two folders, template to store the original template and generated documents to store the generated documents. Let's click on template. And when you open it up, I need to upload the template over here. So first of all, let me upload my template file. So I'm dragging and dropping my file and this is where my template looks like. Let me open that up and see in the online version. See, every text are available perfectly over here. So looks good. Now, over here in this generated document, we will generate all our document at the end. Now, it's time to create Power Automate flow to populate the word template with the SharePoint list data. So here I do have the SharePoint list and here I do have vendor ID, vendor name, contact name, uh, address, business type and attachment is something I already uploaded as a part of list attachment over here. And this is one image I already did uploaded over here. Now the thing is that this data I wanted to export and for SharePoint I will use a trigger for a selected item. So when I select this item and go to the automate and when I trigger any flow at the time this flow should be triggered. That's what I wanted to achieve. Alright. So let's get started. So I'm just going over here. I'm just creating a fresh new flow for myself. Let's create automated cloud flow. Let's click on skip. And first let's add a trigger when a SharePoint item is selected. I'm selecting a trigger for a selected item from SharePoint. Need to configure site address and list name. I'm selecting my SharePoint list over here. As a next action, I need to get that item. Add an action. Search for get item from SharePoint. Provide site address and list name. You need to provide the unique ID which we already get from selected item. Let's select that and provide the ID column from here. After we do that, we need to get the attachment content as well. And to do that, I will add one more action called get attachments because it is SharePoint list. If you are having SharePoint library, then you need to use get file content. Here, I need to first get the attachment from the list. So I will use get attachments. Again, provide the site address and list name. Again, we need to provide the ID. So again, from a selected item, we are already getting the ID. We can supply that ID or from get item as well, you can supply the ID. I'm selecting get ID from here. After that, we need to add an, another action called get attachment content. So first we are getting the multiple attachments because SharePoint list provide you multiple attachments upload facility and using get attachments, you will get multiple files. But again, in word template, we need to use only one attachment at a time. So we need to grab only single attachment from all this attachment content. And to do that, we will create one more variable first. So first I'm adding one more action and I will use initialize variable. I will provide the name of the variable as file content, provide the type as array. That's it. Let's add one more action over here. And this time I will add like get attachment content, get attachment content from SharePoint. So I will use this action, get attachment content. Again, provide site address and list name. Here you need to provide ID. You need to provide the ID from get items. And over here you need to supply the file identifier. So this file identifier is nothing but attachment from the get attachments control. So over here, just place a cursor. And when you do that, you will get the ID from this get attachment section. So let's supply that ID over here. And that will add the loop automatically on top of that. This kind of for each loop already has been added on top of that. So let's just keep it. Let's just have this. Now, after that, we need to set the value because over here it's a loop and you will get multiple file attachment control. But what we need is we need the single file attachment control. Okay. And first of all, for that, what we will do is simply append this value to the array. So let's add an action append to array. We have that append to array variable. Let's select that. And we already have that variable defined called file content in this above action 
and over here we need to supply a value and for that we just need to use this one attachment content from get attachment content so let's supply that and we are done so you can see we just did this after that let's add an another action called compose and let me just print the variable value that we are getting from the above one so i'm just printing my file content over here which i'm getting as a part of append array over here and add that over here perfect this is compose and at the very end what we will do is we will supply and we will populate our word template for ourselves so we did this entire stuff and now let's add one more action called microsoft word when you do that you can see the different actions over here and there is one action available called populate a word template let's select this particular action from here as soon as you do this it will ask you for the location so let's search for the location so this is again my sharepoint site so let me select my sharepoint site over here then again i need to select my document library so i need to select a template over here guys okay so where we have uploaded our template so we uploaded into one of the library right so in power automate use cases we have one library called vendor onboarding contract and inside that we have template where we have uploaded our template so this path is something i need to supply over here so i need to select the library name vendor onboarding contracts now i need to go to the file so let's select that and in that we have template folder and in template folder we have this document so let's select that up and basically once you select that as soon as you select that we need to set the properties for that word template okay so what we'll do is simply save this file so far so i just provided the name of my flow over here and let's click on save button and as soon as you see in few seconds it will be showing the advanced property option over here and let's click on show all so it will show you all your template data available over here so these are the template data which we need to configure now so over here first of all let's apply vendor id so let's click on this icon and search for the vendor id because in get item we are getting all the properties so let's supply that vendor id so that sharepoint vendor id will be set over here vendor id so vendor id is nothing but my title column from the sharepoint so i'm selecting that same way for vendor name let's search for vendor name and we are getting that contact person let's search for the that contact person address let's search for address property from sharepoint get item we are getting that business type so let's search for the business type again it's a choice column so we are selecting business type value and at last we have logo right now logo there is one trick over here because logo we are getting in form of array and you can see that in our word template there is a single image control right so we can't print the multiple images over there the biggest limitation of the document template is at a time you can have one image to be displayed in the word template so over here i have array of the images which i'm getting into this array variable right and i'm simply printing that array variable in the compose so from this compose action the first element of the array as an image i need to display in the document template so i will use arrays zero element from it okay if you have multiple image control added in your template at that time probably you can use zeroth element first element second element whatever you think which is possibly available as a part of your images you can apply in that way because right now in document template you can't display multiple images at the same time you need to add multiple image control and probably you need to decide the fixed length of those image controls okay hopefully in the future if we have a flexibility where we can have multiple images control as a part of repeating section but right now even if you are repeating section in your word template with the image control it will not support this is the update on 27th of october 2024 where the video is recording maybe if you are watching this video in the future check the official microsoft site if they have improved this functionality or feature 
but at this moment no you can't have multiple images as a part of your gallery or as a part of your table in the word template at a time you can do only one image okay so now to do that i'm just going again here and i'm just going to the logo let's go to the formula column over here and let's select our output property of the compose action and from output of zero is something i need to do because from array if you need zeroth element in the formula whatever compose output is there from there let's do square bracket and use zero so this will give the zeroth element of the array so let's select that and add that and we are done at the end we need to create a separate document for that let's add another action called create file selecting create file from the sharepoint select the site address folder path folder path is something which you need to set it up so over here i have vendor onboarding contracts document library and in generated document i want to set up the file let's provide the file name so i'm just providing the file name as vendor then dash i will supply the vendor name and then i will append the utc date time as well so again i'll just go to the formula and search for utc now so current timestamp i'm appending and at then you need to provide the extension dot d o c x that's it and at then you need to supply the file content as well so file content is something which you will get from the popular word template so this action will give you the content of the file so let's supply it and we are done with this let's save this again in future if you want to convert that into pdf you can do that as well but again we are not stretching the video too much over here but we are stopping at this point over here at the last action is create file that's pretty much it let's go back and we are done with the flow now let's taste this file to taste that let's go to the sharepoint list here we already created this item this is all the information that we do have let's select this document let's click on three dots let's click on power automate and over here you can see it is showing me the flow which we just created populate word template with image is yt ignore this one because i created this earlier but if you are creating for the first time it will show you only this one let's click on that click on continue run the flow and here we are let's see if the flow ran over here the flow is running let's click on that to see the preview so it's created it's executed all the actions over here and populate the template and created file as well now let's see the generated file so i'm just going over here into document library so i'm just opening my document library and going to generated documents and over here you can see few seconds ago the document generated let's see the preview of the file and here we are see my document template has been generated perfectly like you can see every name is populating over here vendor id vendor name contact person address business name and the image as well perfectly uploaded over here isn't it cool and amazing so this is the way you can populate your word template with your data along with the images hope this video helps you and values your time if so make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel it's free for you but it's helping me in lots of other way also if you are looking for any kind of paid consultation or paid training you can always visit our website which is mentioned over here in the cover or all the links are available in the description box as well you can connect us via our website also don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and all the other social media handle all the links are available in the channel description box with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye